I just got back from Enterprise Connect, one of the premier conferences on enterprise communications. Um, this is where everyone presented their view of AI integrated into the meeting workflow. Microsoft, Zoom, WebEx, Google, Amazon, and RingCentral all had these phenomenal features they showed on stage and had the crowd cheering and roaring. But you want to know a secret? They were only telling you half the story. Today, let's talk about AI and the workflow. Okay, to understand what I'm talking about, we gotta do things a little bit differently here. We're gonna break it up into two topics. First, let's talk about generative AI, and then second, let's talk about the meeting workflow. Now first, AI. And to think about it correctly, you may wanna try and think about it like a JavaScript programmer. Okay, stay with me for a moment here. JavaScript enacts on code in two different ways. It can be an imperative model, or it can be in a declarative model. Think of it like this. An imperative model is an explicit list of instructions that the code's gonna follow step by step. If it's dealing math, it might keep a sum or total along the way until it gets to the final end product. But in a declarative model, JavaScript programmers are able to tell the operating system what to do in its end state. Go for this goal and let the JavaScript then have the opportunity to make the decisions and processes along the way to get to that declared state of being. Okay, not a programmer. Let's consider something that's a little bit more every day, like making bread. In an imperative model, to bake bread would look a lot like the recipe. First, gather flour, salt, water in certain quantities, then mix them for so long, then allow the dough to proof for so long, and finally bake it for so long. Each step needs to be followed in a specific order and instructions. On the other hand, a declarative workflow in baking bread will be something a little bit more along the lines of saying, hey, I want to have a loaf of sourdough bread. It doesn't give explicit instructions or measurements to follow in a step-by-step -step fashion, but it does declare the end state that's desired. And it allows the person to execute upon it to get to that end state in the fashion they deem best. This, my friend, is the power that generative AI is bringing to the everyday. It's the idea of helping us move from these imperative workflows to more of a declarative state and what we want to get. And we're seeing it right now within the generative AI technology. People are starting with chat prompts and it's coming, replying with other chat in full sentences and paragraphs. But it's also gone to the next level. Through chat, I'm declaring an image I want to have and the generative AI is creating that image. We're also seeing examples of chat to outcomes of code creating websites or programs based upon just declaring within the chat function, what's the end state or end goal that I want. So what is a meeting workflow? Workflows are the ways that people get work done and can be illustrated as a series of steps needed to be completed sequentially or in a diagram format. Now, in the meeting experience, the UC industry has focused on the middle three columns of this diagram, which represent the actual meeting you know, everybody goes through introductions, small talk occurs, and the reason for the meeting gets teed up. The core of the meeting is where the stuff is presented, discussions take place, and then the conclusion is where things are recapped and next steps are identified and moved forward. This is where it starts to get interesting. These same UC vendors have been working to bring into the workflows the two in caps of these activities, the pre-meeting and the post-meeting activities. You see, the Microsofts, the Zooms, and the Googles was doing okay so far in terms of these meeting workflows. But then generative AI came to the party. Now we're talking about things like auto-generated transcripts, searchable and distributable. We're talking about assigning action items to people after the meetings. Heck, you don't even have to be in the meeting to find out that something was assigned to you and then have an action to follow up on it afterwards. It all seems pretty good, but still within the meeting workflow, it does seem a little imperative. We're still going step by step through all four or five of these phases of the meeting. You see, people work beyond the single meeting on a topic. In fact, there may be multiple meetings on the same topic, and there might be work done in between those meetings to help add and move the topic forward. It might be content created. It might be conversations that take place in the hallway, or it might be something contextual that takes place that adds more complexity and fulfills the goals of that original meeting. This is what I call the workflow of collaboration. But 
We don't typically work on one topic or work stream for the single day. In fact, we work on multiple topics and work streams. Welcome to the workflow of the work day. You might start a meeting in the morning on one topic and then immediately jump to another meeting that's on another work stream of collaboration and then go to a third meeting that has nothing to do with the first two. Look, your meeting at 9 a.m. may be on one distinct topic and then your meeting at 10 a.m. may be on a totally different one. Now, they may not relate, but there is different input and activity that takes place through you. You are the constant throughout these different work streams. And boom, that's the opportunity. That's the place where we can ask ourselves, can generative AI add more value to help manage your time and resources as you move between different work streams of unrelated topics? If we get to a point that we have a comment or a action in one meeting influencing the workflows on two or three other work streams, it would be very phenomenal. Now there's risky. AI is the tool that could help bridge that activity, but it could get it wrong. But as trained and more data models are put in place, it does get closer. Need an example? What if in one meeting someone says, I wonder what it's like if we would launch this product in Japan. Now from that comment, imagine a work stream triggering to that country team to start having them investigate and understand what that business opportunity is for in Japan. At the same time, it might trigger a command over to the operations team and their procurement activity to understand, are they available to provide product in that country? And the third one may go off to legal and operations to understand through compliance or other concerns that in fact, they're okay to sell the product in that market. Now, this is a far-fetched model now, but the idea I'm getting to is this. AI could be the bridge to help us wrangle our own days as we move between work stream and work stream. And by doing it in a more intuitive fashion and a declarative model, we get to optimize the work that we are doing in our everyday workflows of collaboration. It's a pretty powerful idea, don't you think? I'm Craig Durr, and I hope you enjoyed this discussion.